So testing and building a calculator sounds like it's pro pretty boring, maybe pretty pointless, uh, but actually the kind of idea we're trying to drive here is that we're going to have multiple classes that all interact with each other uh, to be able to build this up. So what we're going to do is uh, take a look at how we may want to use this. Then we'll go ahead and write our tests for each of these units that will come together. Uh, and then we will, as uh, always, along the way, build this out. So the idea here then is if you think about our calculator, now normally you would have, say, a calculator class. So for example, uh, let's just go ahead and write this out. We'd have a new calculator. And then we may say something like calculator add and then go ahead and give a number. Now we don't want to do that. Instead, what we want to do is create separate classes for each operation. So for example, addition would be a new addition class. And then to this, we would add in our operands. So we would say something like set operands, and then we would go ahead and pass in an array of what we wanted to add up. Now, apart from this, we would have again, something like division. And in actual fact, the two that we're gonna look at are addition and division. Addition is pretty simple and division is a little bit more complicated because we have to deal with things like division by zero. So we're going to be testing that this is all handled for us. So again, this is a very simple example in terms of a calculator, but it will give us a good idea into some of the other assertions that we can use as well. So again, we would say set operands and maybe we would want to divide 100 by 2. So we would obviously get 50 here and here we would get 15. So the point of the calculator then would we be to say something like calculator and we could say set operations and then we could go and pass in both division and addition. So we could say division or addition rather and division. Now this would give us the result like uh, the following. So it would give us 15 and then 50 in an array. What we could then do is if we wanted to add both of these together, we could just simply use addition on its own to go ahead and pass these in uh, as we've done here as an array. So we're going to be testing addition, division and the actual calculator completely separately. And we're going to look at lots of different assertions as well. So we're going to look at throwing exceptions and all that kind of stuff. So now that we know kind of how we want this to work, let's start by writing our tests as usual. Now, I already have the tests from the whole of the course, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a separate uh, folder in here. So let's create a calculator folder. And I like doing this just to separate all of our tests out, just because we're writing tests and they don't need to be as pretty as we want them to be. We still uh, categorize these just to make things a little bit easier to find. So let's start with our addition test because this is the most simple operation. So let's go ahead and create our addition test.php file and it, again let's just pull over our sample test just so we don't have to uh, keep writing all of this boilerplate code so we have our addition test now let's go ahead and change this over and of course we'll get rid of this test assertion as well okay so the first thing that we want to check is that when we give two operands they are added up it is as simple as that so let's go and create our doc block here for our test and let's start to define our test out. So adds up given operands. So we'll start by again, creating our class. We know it doesn't exist yet. And I'm gonna place this inside of app and calculator. And we're just gonna call this class addition, like so. So now we can go ahead and set our operands. So addition set operands. And we know that into this, we're gonna pass an array of uh, an unlimited amount of numbers, it doesn't really matter, but that's the kind of gist of things. So now we want to assert that the result of this operation is 15. So we're gonna say assert equals, we know that it's gonna equal 15, but how do we call this? Well, we could maybe have a calculate method like that. So this is a simple test to see that creating an addition class with two operands or more adds up to 15. So let's go and run our tests as normal and we obviously know that this is going to fail. We don't have our addition class. So inside of app, let's go and create our calculator folder. And into this, we will create our addition class. So let's create this in here, addition.php. And let's start to define this out and make it pass, first of all. So app calculator, and we have a class of addition. And let's just refer back to our tests. We know that we have a set operands method. 
So let's define this out, set operands like this. And this takes in an array of operands. So let's go and say operands and we will set this operands to the operands we passed in. And of course, create up here our operands property. Okay, so let's run our tests once more. And of course, now we see that we don't have a calculate method. So we go ahead and implement this. And really interestingly, what we're going to be doing in a moment is completely refactoring this to extend an abstract operator class. So we'll completely refactor this. Well, not completely, but uh, do lots of refactoring and we'll see uh, our tests should pass. So again, let's say calculate. Now, how do we go ahead and add up uh, items within an array? Well, we could do this multiple ways. So let's just do this in a rough way first of all, and we'll quickly go back and refactor it. So to add something up, we could say something like result equals zero. We could do a for each loop over our operands. So we know we're adding up. So we could say each operands as operand. Result could then be the result of plus equals on that operand. And then we could go ahead and return the result. So let's go ahead and run our tests and undefined variable operands. That's absolutely fine. So that should be this operands. And there we go. So we get green now. So we know that this is adding up properly, but I'm not really happy with this. So instead, what we can do is something along the lines of returning array sum this operands like so. We run the tests again and we get green. So successfully refactored. Now, just quickly, before we do any more testing on this, I kind of want all of my operations to extend a common interface because I know that I want uh, the same method on every single operation. So what I'm going to do is inside of the calculator folder just here, I'm going to go ahead and create an interface for all of my operations. So let's create this now so it's out the way and done with. We can run our tests again if we want, just to make sure we didn't break anything. Uh, but I'm going to call this operation interface like so. And we'll go ahead and just define this out and we'll implement it on addition. We'll also implement this on the division as well. So let's go ahead and say app calculator. And this is now an interface and it's our operation interface. And this just uses one method, which is calculate. So public function calculate and we're done. So let's go and uh, implement this on here. And we now know that this implements an interface. It requires the calculate method, which uh, we can then implement on any other operations that we create. Let's run our tests again. And we know that this passes. So the next thing I want to do is test that if we don't have any operands set on this, we want to throw an exception. So we're going to check with a test that this throws an exception if we don't pass any operands in. So let's go and create a new test just within here. And we're going to say no operands given throws exception when calculating. So very long, but quite descriptive. So into here, let's put our doc blocks and let's think about how we want to do this. Now, when we're testing for exceptions that are thrown, we need to do this first of all. So I would say something like this, expect exception, and I'd pass the name of the exception in here. So in this case, the exception would be app calculator. And maybe that's within an exceptions folder. And then we may be throwing a no operands exception and we'll grab the full class name. So that's the uh, exception that I'm expecting to see when I don't give any operands. So very simply then we want to new up an addition class and we want to go ahead and try and calculate. So we're going to say addition calculate like so. So there's no uh, necessarily assertions here, but we are expecting that an exception is thrown. So let's go and run our test. We know that this is going to fail. So we can see here, no operands exception does not exist. That's the first kind of problem we need to deal with. So let's go over to calculator, create a new exceptions folder, and we'll go ahead and create this no operands exception. So no operands exception, and we'll go ahead and create this out. So namespace is now app calculator and exceptions. 
and we'll go ahead and create this now. So no operands exception. We know that this needs to extend PHP's base exception class. So just pretty straightforward exception handling. And that is pretty much it. Let's go ahead and run our tests again. And we see here array sum expect parameter one to be array null given. So this is the error that we're seeing. It's not throwing this exception. So what we want to do is uh, update our class here to throw an exception if there are no operands. So to do this, we're just going to put a little check in here. We can refactor this later if we want to. We know that we have a test for it. We're going to say this operands, grabbing the count of them. If they equal zero, we want to throw a new no operands exception. And we need to just pull this in at the top. So let's go ahead and use app calculator and no operands exception. Let's go ahead and run our test again and we get green. So we know that that has successfully thrown an exception. Now, if we were to test this out and get rid of this and we go ahead and run our uh, test again, you can see that we get the exception thrown. So it's no good just doing this. We need to actually say to this that we're expecting an exception. Now, if, for example, I was to change this over to just throw a standard PHP exception like that, then when we run our tests, again, we get a failure. So failed, uh, failed asserting that the exception type exception matches no operands exception. So not only are we expecting an exception, we're expecting this specific one. So now we are on green with our addition class created. What we're going to do is move over to the next part and create our division class, which is going to involve uh, quite a bit of refactoring of this because we want to move this uh, set operands method and this property to a common abstract operation class. That means that because we've already got our tests in place, when we do do this, we should still get green. So let's hop over, do our division, then we'll finish up with our final calculator, which is a little bit more complicated.